Hey guys, uh, it's Drew again, and I just wanted to touch base on something we talked about in class and also at the SI session last night. Um, condenser microphones use a capacitor, so when the sound strikes it, then this upper uh, plate is going to vibrate uh, in sympathy with the sound waves, and it's going to uh, create an electrical signal. Um, that's proportional to the potential across the plates, right? And um, that is going to be analogous to the sound that you hear when you're, you know, if you happen to be in the same room as the microphone. So um, being that it changes the voltage, that means that it actually has to have a voltage source tied to it. And we actually use 48 volts to... Uh, establish a potential between the plates and the fluctuations in the uh, in the air pressure which is basically just what acoustic waves what sound waves are um, changes the distance between the plates one of them's fixed this one's fixed and the other one the top one moves so those little fluctuations um, are enough to be picked up by the um, the sensitive uh, elements and that gives us sound so this is called a condenser microphone as I said um, there's also a dynamic microphone and it's one that's a little bit more uh, rudimentary um, it uses magnets instead and it's a little usually they're a little bit less sensitive there, there, there are sensitive dynamic mics there are there are uh, not as sensitive condenser mics um, but with some variations that's that's usually the gist of it and the microphone I'm using right now is actually a condenser microphone and I happen to have another kind with me just give me one second here while I change some levels hello okay so this is a dynamic microphone I'm trying to get it about the same volume level as I had the condenser mic because um, you know, if one of them's louder, it's going to throw off your perception of it. But this one sounds a little bit duller, um, just not quite as clean in the high end of things, um, but still understandable and, and still good to use for uh, lots of different kinds of applications.